Now we will do a, a now login. So you can enter your email address. And so what it will do is it will send you an email for you to verify it with this terminal. So we can go ahead and open up, you know, our Gmail. We say that we get this new e uh, email and we can just verify it. So once it's confirmed, we can go back to the command line and we'll see that it, it registers that it's confirmed here. So we'd like to now deploy it. So you can just go to your root directory and press now. It might take a little bit longer than it did for me, but now you can see what the uh, the URL is. So it's you know https slash slash blog dash prisma two um, dot you know my name dot now dot sh. So that tells us what our front end URL will be, and so we can use that to specify both our front end and our back end URL. So what I'm doing now is deleting some old secrets that I had. So you can do now seek secret RM and then your secret name. And so now we can start adding them. So it's gonna be now secret add front end URL, and we can just copy and paste the URL that it gave above. So now we can do the back end URL which will be the same, except it'll be slash GraphQL. And now we can do the MySQL string. Which we can just copy the endpoint that we had before. So it's gonna be MySQL colon slash slash and it's gonna be user colon password at that endpoint colon 3306 slash uh, Prisma. So now that's specified, we can just type in now and we'll redeploy our app using the new environmental variables. And we see that it works. So we can go ahead and create a new user, you know, enter a password. And we'll see that it's, it's, it seems to be saving stuff to the database just as we'd expect. We can now create a draft, a, a, a new post, just like we demoed in the, in the previous blog post that I showed before. So we can create drafts. We can publish the drafts. So this is showing that all the queries, refetch queries and mutations are all working just like we'd expect. And so there you go. So here's a way how you can set up an environment for yourself so that you can run it locally on your computer using a Docker environment. And as you're making changes, it's updating in the Docker environment for you. And then once you have it exactly how you want, all you have to type is now from, the root of your project and it will deploy it up to the cloud and you have your app running serverlessly uh, against a database that's a, an RDS instance and it will be just saving all the data to that. So it should scale with the number of people that you get and at low volumes there shouldn't be any cost associated with it other than the RDS instance. Uh, Amazon does provide uh, a full year, has a free tier, and RDS is included on there. So if you've never made an Amazon account before, I definitely encourage you to make an account. And you can, you can use that along with this whole serverless deployment system. So thanks so much for watching, and let me know what you think.